that great at the moment, and it's not too great in heroics. In my opinion, anyway, compared to other classes. Is that a nerf, or is it just general neglect? Just general, because they're a really heavy dot class, so... Oh, okay. If you get a good DPS in there, everything dies so fucking quick that you don't get to do a lot of DPS, you know yeah. what I mean? So, I'll try, I might do a couple of runs to see how it goes, and see whether I can produce something good. So, I'll do a couple of runs on that. Um, I'm thinking of doing the Rep Paladin. Rep Paladin as well. I get a lot of requests for that spec on the Holy Paladin, so I'm either going to do Rep or Holy... I'm leaning a little bit towards Holy Paladin purely because it's a bit more fun than Red. What? Really? Yeah, I think so. I do enjoy healing in a row. I don't like healing in raids because it's a bit whack-a-mole. It's a bit just, you know, yeah, yeah. healing off your grid. And that's a bit shitty, healing off grid. It's a bit fucking poor. Have they added anything else to Cataclysm with regards to healing? Because all I remember it was just like Beacon, two main healing targets. Well... <laughs> Nice. That wasn't a funny fight. Like. No, it was an imaginary <laughs> mid-air motorboat. <laughs> on I, your bum chin. On my bum chin, yeah. I was motorboating my own bum chin. Nice. Yeah, uh, healing has changed a fucking lot. There's no doubt about that. Healing overall has changed a shitload because at the end of Wrath of the Lich King you could spam heals constantly without any form of fucking problem. Yeah, because of the Because of the, just infinite amounts of mana. So you could spam huge heals all the fucking same. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Holy Paladins have changed quite a lot because they became very just beacon of light one thing and heal that fucking mob and that was about it. Right. Uh, so and then it just healed everything else. Cool. So yeah, as uh, Blubzar is saying, even though he's fucking crap, by the way. Really? No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. He's a big cuddly bear. But uh, yeah, they've added lots of spells and they give him like a combo point generator of Holy Power, which you can use on different things. So when you do certain things, you actually gen- generate sort of a combo point. Okay. And then use them combo points to fire off a, a couple of spells. Right, okay. I get you. So, yeah, it's gonna, I think that's more interesting than Rhett, which is basically just... The thing with Rhett at the moment is there's so many damage spells that the, the only true way, and this is no bullshit, that you can pull off max Rhett DPS is using an add-on which tells you what to press. Oh, I used to have that. Well, it's even more important now like because... Rotation. Yeah, there's so many different fucking spells. There's at least six or seven. Okay. Now, 6 or 7 is a lot to keep track of while you're killing a raid boss. That's the problem with it. I'm not saying 6 or 7 spells is difficult by any means at all. It's like spinning plates because of procs. Yeah, and exactly. Like and they all have slightly different priorities. So, you find yourself in these situations where you're looking at your buttons too much. Right. Which is terrible. You don't want to be looking at your buttons. You want to know what to fucking do. Um, so, you basically have to get this add-on, which fucking tells you what to press next. So you can actually concentrate on what you should be doing as a DPS class, which is keeping your ass alive. Yeah. Because there's a lot of shit in Cataclysm that fucking gives you. Gives you right through the balls. I mean, it's, it's not like Wrath where a healer could rescue you. Because now healers have got less mana and have to use different sorts of spells. You've lost that one aspect. And also they've upped the amount of shit that can fucking kill you. Right. So, it's, you know, it's a little bit fucking ropey, I've got to say. I'm not, not overly impressed with it at all. But, yeah, healing definitely looks more impressive to me. And Rhett just looks a little bit boring. All oh, right, it's a bit more of a challenge than doing the heal. Yeah, it's a bit. I'll tell you what, the biggest concern for me over melee. Let's just talk about melee DPS for a second. In Wrath of the Lich King, the big fucking cleavers with Fury Warriors. Oh, yeah. They tore fucking oh, yeah. shit up. A geared Fury Warrior tore fucking shit up. And I loved playing my Warrior. You know my favourite class in yeah. War is a Warrior. So, I'm now used to spec Fury. I used to go absolutely mental on my Fury Warrior, and you could because you just tear the fucking place down. It was awesome. You charge through a dungeon and you do massive amounts of damage, cleave through everything. I played Fury for the first time since Cataclysm last week, because I hadn't played Fury, and I was interested in doing a Fury guide and playing another character, another warrior spec. Fury is so fucking boring now. Really? Oh, man, I could have cried. I was genuinely pissed off. Genuinely. I, I played it for one dungeon, and I just thought, dude, what have you done? It feels so pussy. Yeah. It just feels so pussy, and you can't even do a lot of cleave damage now as a warrior. Basically, you fucking... You've got Bloodthirst, which you used to have, which used to hit like a fucking truck. Dropping a Bloodthirst used to feel good and meaty, like a warrior. I mean, I tried to get a little bit into the feeling of my class when I'm playing. It makes me enjoy it a bit more. Self-RP, mate. A little bit of self-RP. So I don't sit here in my fucking gear. I don't have a... Sit there in ogre skin loincloth. Let me use a term that people might be familiar with. Cosplay. Oh, nice. (laughs) That's right. I don't cosplay when I'm fucking... When I'm playing, I don't cosplay the shit out of my character. I don't fucking do that. But what I do do... Is to try to get a feel for it. What I do, do, do. (laughs) (laughs) Is to try to get a feel for it. So when I'm playing a warrior and I've got this rage bar, I want to feel like I'm fucking whacking shit. I'd rather have two spells that hit like a fucking truck than five or six spells that kind of do a little bit of damage and you've got to keep them spinning on plates. Like you say, he's just spinning plates. So now you've got... and This is is Fury in a fucking nutshell for you now. 
Bloodthirst is on an exact cooldown, so you can fit one spell in between every Bloodthirst, and then you have a choice of three spells that you can use in between Bloodthirst. That's it. The rest of it is if you've got enough rage to Heroic Strike. Whoa. That is it. That so you go nice. Bloodthirst, pick one of the three. Bloodthirst, pick one of the three. Bloodthirst, pick whichever the last of the three is, because you've used the other two. Bloodthirst, press another one of the three that's come back off cooldown. And by the end of that first mob, you want to hang yourself. And everybody <laughs> who ever played the Fury Warrior and thought this was a fucking good idea. Nice. What the fuck were they thinking when they went, oh, well, Fury Warriors only have like four buttons to press and they do a shitload of damage. That's boring. Is it fuck boring? I don't give a fuck, man. That was fucking brilliant. It was. You fucking. I love my. Warrior. you are now. Oh, sorry, I'm man. I fucking. Shit like that. I fucking love my warrior. And to turn around and go, I'm gonna go fury, baby. I'm gonna smash it up and go in. It's like whirlwind, eight k damage. What? And that is in a world where my fucking obliterates can hit for seventy k, and my whirlwind goes. <laughs> I'm like, here comes the big fucking whirlwind, baby. We're gonna wave the shit out of these, and it goes. <coughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like the other guys coming. It's like when you're pissed, it's the urinal. It sounds feminine. That's what they're saying <laughs> to the fucking Fury Warriors right oh, now. Oh, it fucked me off so much. I mean, I'm going to play. I mean, I spoke to. Um, I'm not going to mention his name, but he, a long time fucking warrior hero like me. You know who we were talking about? You might not talk, know what I'm talking about, but you've met him. From another country. He's from another country. Ah, I know. Yeah. I'm playing a little game of Cluedo with you. <laughs> I got you. Why don't you fire them bad boys down? Nice, I got it, I got well, it. Alright, we're touching... Tu- boom, boom, boom. We're touching cock. I yeah. like it. Yeah. I like it, we're getting close. Dutch rudder. Yeah. Dutch Sword rudder. fight. Sword fight. <laughs> Coloured condoms. Let's do it. Need to know who's the winner. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I spoke with him and I was like, dude, have you seen what they've done to Fury? And he goes instantly, now you know why I play arms, even though it's less DPS and I am heavily a min-maxer. So this guy pushes his character to the fucking limits and refuses to play Fury. Yeah. Because it's so fucking gashly boring. I'm not saying it's not a good spec, it does shitloads of damage. <laughs> Is he from Greece? <laughs> well, fuck. I kind of want to close the stream now because I know who's in the channel. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? When you see someone enter your channel, you just think, knobhead. <laughs> I did that, but I knew I was coming to his house. (laughs) (laughs) Sick fucking burn. Yeah, so I talked to him in Maxer, and he says to me, yeah, it's less damage, but I refuse to play Fury, because it's so... It's like I'm tickling the balls of a one-year-old in a non-pedophilic fashion. I want to slip that out there that I do not do that. (laughs) (laughs) But anyone who can cut audio wants to cut out the uh, disclaimer at the end of it and make a song of Preach admitting to touching by Feel free. Garage yeah. Band is a you know perfect tool for that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like that, that seems like it's to me uh, the Warrior has always been like the Bastion class of Warcraft. Like it's the most, you know, it, at the time it was. I don't know. It might have not seen like the most difficult rotation, but it was always one of the most complex yeah, exactly. classes was, to play. It was never the most difficult rotation. Now I don't mind that. After playing Warcraft for years, I don't feel anything needs a difficult rotation to be fun. I think that's a fucking lie by Blizzard. I think they've got a totally run end of the stick. Is that they say to oh well, yeah, Fury's doing okay, but it's a bit easy. Now Arcane Mage is a bit too easy for me. A little bit too easy. Although I got told that my arcane video was fucking bollocks and I did it completely wrong by a, a master mage. So I might have to re- redo that. But to simpl- to make a class more complicated does not mean just giving it more fucking buttons. What's yeah. that about? It's no fun. This is the problem with Rep Paladins. Yeah, I know what you mean. But, um... So uh, anyway, just we're going to take some questions very, very shortly, guys. So if you want to put some fucking uh, questions out there, uh, we'll be start answering them in a second. So, yeah, so they've dumbed down Warriors so much. And so, for me, a, a, a Warrior is basically a Rep Paladin now. With oh, different right. coloured spells. They do the same thing, because Divine Storm, which was the big AoE that Rep Paladins yeah. did, now does about the same damage as Whirlwind. They're almost exactly the same fucking class. The same damage as Whirlwind now, or now that it does shit damage? Oh. No, it's just the same, because it's just Divine Storm does shit damage like Whirlwind does shit damage. Right. And you need, like, five or six mobs before you can bother AoE. Yeah, of course, yeah. And all you've got is the same thing, like I said, with Blood First, and then you've got another spell in between. Rep Paladins are the same, because they build this Holy Power, like I mentioned before. Yeah. So, replace Blood First with Crusader Strike, and replace the next spell with either fucking Exorcism or something else. It's exactly the fucking same. It's just the same fucking class, and it's just 
absolutely atrocious. What's the most fun class and spec that you have had? Well, I think that takes us over to the questions, actually, to include that as well. Oh, okay. okay, so we're taking questions from the guys watching now, and Zephax has just posed a question. What do you think about tanking? And on the back of ghost questions, what is the most fun class to play in World of Warcraft right now, in my opinion? Protection Warrior, any day of the week, in a five-man. Okay. That's what I want to say. In a five-man Protection Warrior, every day of the fucking week is tons of fun. I never have as much fun as when I tank a five-man on my tank. There, that being said, put a tank in a raid setting, and it's boring as shit. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, what makes a fucking prop warrior so fucking amazing at the moment is that they're like a pinball. I can get, I can grab all the instants. I'm exaggerating a touch, but uh, without ever stopping because I've got charge, I've got intercepts, I've got intervene, I've got heroic leap. I can be fucking miles down the fucking tunnel before anybody even starts tanking. And I've got a million tools. I've got heroic throws to silence. I've got shield slams. I've got shockwaves. I've got thunder um, thunderclaps. I've got all sorts of shit going on. Demo rods, and I can just control fifty or sixty mobs easy without doing fucking. Any, but by playing well, yeah. don't get me wrong, I can play really well. And then when I finish doing what I'm doing with that pack, I can then pinball off and do a load of other shit. And that is amazing. And one of the fastest videos I've done for my YouTube channel was the Protection Warrior Tanking Guide. I tanked that instance with full 391 DPSs on a 333 geared warrior. So this guy was basically just out of greens. Took full 391 geared DPSs, which are the best gear in game at the moment. And smashed through Heroic without ever losing aggro in about 8 minutes. A full heroic, done, eight minutes flat, and it was so much fun. I enjoyed every fucking second of it. And anybody who watched that video could tell I was just enjoying the shit out of it. I was just enjoying it so much. Yeah. And that, for me, is the best. Now, when it comes to a raid, that's a hard one, because I haven't raided on a lot of classes. I don't have time. Um, Death Knight is okay. My Death Knight I find quite enjoyable still, um, which is awkward as a DPS. So I find, still find my Frost Death Knight pretty fun to play in a raid. I kind of think Moonkins are probably a little bit fun as well because they have a variety of things they can do, mixing in mushrooms at right times and dots and stuff. I know uh, Blubzor will probably disagree with me on that. Uh, hunters as well. Hunters have... I like but I like classes that have a lot of utility that aren't just a straight up do this sort of class. Right, okay. And it's just like... If you're a straight up DPSer, I find, I, like, I find rogues a little bit boring to raid with because... I was going to ask that. What are rogues like now in raids? Rogues are brilliant. They do fantastic damage. I fucking love rogues. Yeah, rogue, rogues do amazing, amazing DPS. Our rogues in Agil, we are blessed by having two extremely good fucking rogues. We have a rogue called Zuni and a rogue called Darksend. Uh, one of them is an Aussie. Now, I don't punish him for that, although it does make me feel a little <laughs> bit sick. I'm only joking. Now, he's a fantastic guy, Darksend. I was hoping to meet him recently, but he, didn't, he couldn't make it. Um, yeah. But those rogues put out... And playing two different specs as well, which I think is important, because you either think of Frost Death Knight is the top one, now, Zuni plays Combat, and Darksend plays Mutilate, and both of them top the fucking meters. And that is impressive, yeah. that both specs are so close. Um, I also think Warlock is probably a lot of fun in a dungeon, but I'm not so much demonology. Maybe uh, we can get a hit up from Zyro there, I think if he's still in the channel. Zyro will think you're playing a Warlock at the moment. Um, uh, you can let us know what you think of a rating. I think you are playing demonology last time we spoke, Zyro. Um, if you could just let us know on that and what your think, thoughts are on it. Let's take another question quickly. Uh, let's do another one from Zephax, because uh, I'm glad that he's joined the channel. What do you think about patch 4.3? I don't know much about it other than Deathwing's going to be in there. Um, and I'm looking forward to it being... I'm, uh, I was at first sort of pissed off. I remember in the last podcast we spoke, I thought it was a bit early, that we were skipping a tier of content. Now, I've had a little bit of a rethink on that, I've got to say, is that what we tend to happen in the past expansions is when they went to the fourth tier... So much shit had happened during the, the, the content of the expansion that the fourth tier was always a bit of a mess. Something was wrong, that they needed some sort of ridiculous fix. Usually it was tanks. Tanks had got so overgeared that they needed to do some ridiculous debuff to make tanks in line again, yeah. and so on and so forth. And the problem that happens there is we have... Basically, you have this situation, which is that they predict at the very beginning of the expansion, and they put a lot of time and effort into this, is when the fucking... Dunge uh, when the expansion finishes, this is where we want players to be in terms of, st of gear stats and DPS and so on. And then some smart-ass nerd, because we're all fucking nerds, does something that Blizzard never fucking thought was possible, or hadn't even thought about, and does fucking three times as much damage. And so that spec then gets nerfed. And then they realise, oh, now in this instance, it's already happened, prop paladins were far too powerful. So they then had to start adjusting some stats. And then when those, what, a, the second one of those stats is adjusted, 
the end picture of what they wanted characters to look like is out the fucking window. Because it's, they've already had to alter it earlier in the line. It. They've had to beeline it straight away because they never predicted, oh shit, we never thought of that. If you take a, a little bit of an example, I know it's not in terms of gear. I mean, we can 